What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of 93MX5 for the win, Cars and Cigars. Today I'm going to be bringing you my humidor tour for the start of 2017. Um, I know it's been only about, uh, not even a month since my uh, first humidor tour, but I have been stocking up on some uh, premium cigars, and I'm going to show you guys that now. So, uh, humidor number one, of course, the El Diablo 300 count humidor. This is my uh, biggest humidor. I also added two more. I'm going to get through this as uh, quick as I can. Of course, uh, we're going to start right here with the uh, top shelf. Um, I'm going to run through everything real quick. Actually, let's start with the outside with the uh, drawers. I got a couple uh, Moretti torch lighters that uh, I reviewed. Look for the review in the uh, description below. I'll leave a link to that. Um, got another extra uh, cutter here. Got another Moretti over there with my table torch. Got to bring those down to the studio. A um, couple of butanes. In here, I just have a couple business cards from like shops and whatever. Uh, boxes for a humidifier and for a hygrometer. And of course, my screwdriver. All right, so now for the uh, top shelf. Um, still got the uh, Monte Cristo Churchill Extra. Got the Monte Cristo uh, number three, I believe. Got my uh, Padron Natural 6000 Torpedo. Um, Cohiba Red Dot Robusto. Uh, La Gloria Cubana. That's in Robusto. Uh, Macanudo Hyde Park Robusto, uh, H. Upman 1844 Reserve, that's in Churchill, uh, Rocky Patel Vintage 99 Connecticut in Churchill, I have a Romeo and Julieta 1875 uh, Starcrossed, that's in Churchill as well, Romeo and Julieta uh, Bully, on this side of the divider, I have my Oliva Siri V uh, Double Toro, Oliva um, Connecticut Reserve in Torpedo, also in Robusto, uh, the Oliva uh, Saison by, uh, I mean, First Harvest 99, Saison by Oliva, and uh, that's in Robusto. I have uh, Oliva Siri G in Robusto, box pressed, and the 94 rated Oliva Siri O in Robusto. I have a Undercrown by Drew Estate, Undercrown Shade, Robusto. I have an Avo, uh, I think that's the um, Pyramid, and then I have uh, my favorite from the 5 Vegas Gold, of course, in the Robusto. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the tray out, and I will show you how stocked I have this thing and how far I've come just in a short month, so stay tuned. Alright, so I have the tray out. My Cigar Oasis just turned on. This is the inside, and I will be going through the contents of what's inside. Back here I have another one of the uh, Monte Cristo Churchill Extra. That's going to be for review. Um... All these I'm just going to be sitting on for a little bit of time other than what's in this box and possibly the chillin' moose. I'm just going to let these get a little bit of age. Looks like I have a little uh, half wheel of cigars in here. I'm going to just try to get through them. Uh, right here I have another one of the Padron 6000 Natural. Look for the review of that coming pretty soon. I have a couple more of the uh, Macanudo Hyde Park Robustos. Uh, Cohiba Red Dot Robustos. I have more of the Romeo Yahulieta 1875 Bully. A couple of the La Gloria Cubana Wavell or Robustos. Another one of the Shade by uh, Drew Estate. Uh, Drew Estate Undercrown Shade Robusto. I have uh, this from my buddy Rory at Ion Cigars and Pipes. I'll leave a link to his channel as well in the link uh, in the description below. He got me an Alex Br Alec Bradley Max. That is the Culture or Corona size. He got he also got me uh, this Romeo by Romeo y Julieta. This is in Toro. He also got me this Chillin' Moose and Gigante, which pretty much got me into my Robusto ones. 
couple of Leva Serie G's, 91 rated Serie G box press. A few of the 94 rated Oliva Serie O in Robusto. A few of the uh, Connecticut Reserve in Robusto Olivos. You're all going to fall in here. Try to get them to stay as best I can. Uh, a few of the uh, Saison by Oliva. First Harvest 99 in Robusto. As you can tell, Robusto is my favorite size. Just the right amount of time of smoke for me. And in the bottom I have two more of the Monte Cristo Churchill Extras, another Monte Cristo number three, a few of the Five Vegas Gold uh, Robusto, and also a couple of the Toro. Let me go ahead and pop these back down here. Of course, I have my uh, Cigar Oasis XL running. I'm going to check that for you guys. You guys can see what it's reading here. Temperature looks to be a little high right now. 72, 73, 69 average, 52 low, 77 high. Make sure she's set right at 69. So we're doing good there. As you can see, the temperature is a little bit high in here. Should be dropping shortly. In this box here, this is a box of my uh, Don Raphael Natural by Victor Sinclair uh, in Robusto. Really good stick. I really enjoy those. I smoke those quite a bit. Uh, box pretty cheap on Cigar.com. Um, roughly 40 bucks for a box of 20 of those. Look for my full review in the link. Uh, in the description below, I'll leave a link, like I was saying, uh, to the Cigar Oasis XL, um, my full review, and also how to refill it. And then on this side, I have my Chillin' Moose Robusto, full box of 20. Those I get for the same price as the Don Natural, the uh, Don Raphael Natural by Victor Sinclair, the Foundry Chillin' Moose in Robusto. So that's going to be it for this humidor. Uh, paid no attention to this hygrometer and these uh, humidifiers as I don't use those. They don't work very well. I go strictly off of my Cigar Oasis XL. Highly recommend those. They work excellent. Uh, perfect for this 300 count humidor. So that's it for that humidor. Alright guys, so I'm on to my next humidor. Uh, again, pay no attention to the analog hygrometer. I do not use those. I have uh, gel beads in this one, the Humicare gel beads. This is the Brookstone desktop 75 count humidor. This was my second humidor. And these sticks right here on the left I have uh, pretty much just for review. Uh, right here you can say, see it says 69% humidity. I don't know if you can see down there but it does say 70 exactly on this one as it was one shelf lower. Obviously heat rises. So, um, and here, these are all for review on this side, and these are my, um, electronic cigars. I'm going to be reviewing the Cubana, the, the Cuban by, uh, Vigar, that one I got, uh, from my local shop. Um, this one is the, uh, E-Puffer D1800, and also I'm going to be getting to the Cubana, which is my favorite, uh, 1800 puff capacity as well. So look for the review of those coming very shortly. Um, look for the review of these coming shortly as well. I have one of the uh, Oliva Connecticut Reserve. Uh, I have a Saison by Oliva, uh, Siri G, Siri O, all in Robusto. Uh, Cohiba Red Dot in Robusto as well. Look for the review of the Macanudo Hyde Park coming very soon. The La Gloria Cubana Wavell, the uh, Romeo y Julieta 1875 Bully, and you guys have seen, I'm sure, my reviews of the Asylum Schizo, and also a special stick to me from my local shop, I have the Federal Cigar in uh, the House Blend in Torpedo. 
So that's it for that one. As you can see, the humidity dropped a little bit in here, 67 now. Just a cheap, uh, cheap little Accurite from Walmart um, for that uh, digital uh, hygrometer there. Just cheap. Uh, this is my cheaper humidor. I don't do too much with this. I don't use that. I use the gel beads. But yeah, that's it for this one. Um, it didn't come with a key, so I ended up using the spare key from this one. It works perfect in there. It locks. does everything I need it to. So yeah, I'm going to get to my third and final humidor. Alright, so this is my third and final humidor. It's the Burl uh, desktop 30 to 50 count humidor. Um, I got this off Cigar.com for a reasonable price. Works rather well. These are my daily sticks. As you can see here, the... Uh, Humidity reads a little bit high in this one, just because I had uh, opened this one previously, and uh, this one's a little more accurate anyway. The it's the uh, Caliber 4R digital analog hygrometer. Look for my review of that, my full review of that in the uh, description below as well. I'll leave a link to that. Uh, again, using the uh, Humicare gel beads. And uh, it's pretty much just about full already, and I don't really only got room for a few more sticks on this side, but pretty much got my uh, five Vegas gold, got a Toro over here, a uh, bunch of the chillin' moose from an old box that I got left, got about eleven of those left. Those are a really good stick, man. Really good go-to stick. Of course, I got my cigar magazines over here always. There we go. Show you what's under these. Got a uh, four of the Five Vegas Gold in yeah. Churchill. Yeah. I also got four in Torpedo. So that's it, guys, for me uh, and for my Humidor tours of 2017. Look for another one coming uh, maybe closer to 2018. I'm not sure. Um... But as always, guys, I really thank you for uh, for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, look for the reviews of, of those sticks uh, that I just showed you coming very, very soon. And, uh, yeah, just like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.